Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Julie. I am a mom to five and I am in the middle of doing this series of curriculum hauls sharing what my kids are using this coming school year. So my third child, Simeon, is entering third grade and so I'm gonna share with you everything we have for him. The one thing I don't have to show you is his math now that he is entering third grade. Typically in third grade we switch our kids from Matthew C for math curriculum on to teaching textbooks. We are very happy with Matthew C but teaching textbooks starts on in third grade and um, I love the independence factor of it, um, the way it self marks and academically it is very strong as well. So we switch to teaching textbooks once our kids reach third grade and so that's what Simeon will be doing this fall. I still need to kind of figure out our schedule and how we're gonna make this work with three kids now doing math on the computer. I also compile our own Bible curriculum and I don't have that ready to share yet. I will share it hopefully next month. So be on the lookout for that. I will go ahead now and share with you everything we have for third grade. First off, we are once again using our gather round unit studies. We are so happy with this curriculum. So we will go through, I have six set out here. I actually plan to do a Christmas unit and an Easter unit as well. So I guess our plan is to do eight units this school year. Simeon, now that he's going into third grade, I put him into the early elementary level. So I order the digital package of gather round curriculum and then I print this all at home and compile the books. So this is the first book here. This, they are actually not in the right order of how we're gonna do them this school year, but I just set them out. So one unit we're gonna do is South America. We are also gonna do inventions and ideas. So this curriculum really covers everything except for math. So you have your writing, you have some Bible there, some grammar, science, geography, history. It's a very thorough, thorough curriculum. And I just find one of the main reasons I am continuing to use this curriculum and one reason that we love it so much is that my kids just seem to absorb this information. The unit study approach just seems to be such such a good fit for them, because that's really the main point, right? That your children actually are learning. If they're not gonna learn, then what's the point? So when they enjoy what they're learning, it makes such a big difference. So farming and food is one of our units. This one looks really intriguing to me, talking about farming and then also like organic food and just so much, so much information in there. We are also doing this Canadian government unit, which I think will be really good for us, seeing as we are Canadian. I also got him his very first cursive book. Simeon has yet to do any cursive, and so we are using, once again, the Handwriting Without Tears books. I always talk about this curriculum because we are really happy with it. We've been using it ever since my oldest was in kindergarten. Learning the basics, just beginning to use cursive. All that I have left here are some readers. We really enjoy these books. They're called the Pathway Readers really clean stories about a Mennonite family. He has already read the first grade books and the second grade books, and then these ones are the third grade books. We also have a bunch of these Who Was books. Yes, I showed these already for my sixth grader and for my fourth grader. They all will cycle through all these Who Was books. They really enjoy these. And then I'm also going to assign him these books. They are all part of the series, 10 Boys Who Changed the World. This one's called 10 Boys Who Used Their Talents real stories, but my older two have read these and they really, they really enjoyed these. Biographies that are put in a very um, interesting way. So there's a list of some of the, some of the people that these books focus on. So that is our third grade curriculum. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll go back and check out my sixth graders curriculum haul and my fourth graders if you have yet to see those. Also subscribe to make sure that you catch my future hauls. I have a first grader haul coming out really soon, a Bible curriculum haul, um, I'll do a back to school haul, lots of fun homeschooling content. I also share a lot of homeschool day in the lives once we get back into the school routine. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon.